Well, guys, look over there. This is Mouth Bass. Large Mouth Bass, also known as the Queensland Grouper, is generally aggressive when it comes to hunting for food. They often hide in coral crevices or among rocks, waiting for their prey to appear. Giant groupers are also known as effective predators, utilizing their size and strength to catch fish and other marine creatures. There is lobster. Lobsters walk backward because their physical structure makes it easier to do so. Their hind legs are stronger and longer than their front legs, making backward movement more efficient for them. Additionally, their downward-facing orientation with a curved body makes backward movement more natural than forward movement. This is Blue Whale. Blue Whales, Balanoptera musculus, typically live socially in groups ranging from small to large. They are often found swimming alongside several other individuals, although they can also be encountered alone at times. Blue whale groups can consist of a few to several dozen individuals. This helps them in foraging for food and protecting themselves from predators. This is Gulper Eel. Male gulper eels generally have larger eyes than females. Scientists believe that males can meet females mainly because males follow the scent of pheromones released by females, but the ability of pelican eels to produce light at the tip of their tail is also used to attract the attention of the opposite sex to reproduce. There is crab! Crabs enjoy playing in the sand because it's a natural behavior for them. This activity helps them clean themselves, search for food, and protect themselves from predators by using the sand as camouflage. Additionally, playing in the sand can also help them maintain body moisture and aid in the molting process. This is Gurnard Fish. Currently there are many hobbyists who choose flying Gurnard Fish to fill their aquariums. Food that tends to be easy to care for also makes this fish relatively easy to care for. However, that doesn't mean there are no challenges at all in keeping Gurnard flying fish. With a maximum size of up to 50 centimeters. Subscribe guys! Well guys, look! There is a jellyfish! Jellyfish employ various strategies to evade predators, including swift movements, transparent bodies, and unappealing appearances to predators. Some jellyfish species also have the ability to change the color of their bodies to camouflage themselves in their environment. Additionally, some jellyfish species have long tentacles to catch prey and maintain a safe distance from predators. This is a blue spotted ray. The blue spotted ray has several interesting characteristics. One of them is its large wing-like body and the striking blue spots on its skin. Additionally, they are known to be friendly creatures and often approach divers or snorkelers without displaying aggressive behavior. Blue spotted rays are also famous for their spectacular leaps out of the water. This is squid. The reproductive system of squids involves specialized organs. In males, sperm is stored in a spermatophore near the genital tract which is then transferred to the female through special arms called hectocotylus during mating. Females have a seminal receptacle where the sperm is received and stored. Well, this is starfish. Starfish can detach their arms as a distraction tactic or to escape from predators. They can then regenerate the lost arms. Some species of starfish can produce toxic or foul-smelling chemicals that make them unappetizing to predators. Starfish with hard shells can cover their bodies with these shells, making it harder for predators to digest or consume them. There is an octopus. When compared to other invertebrates, the number of octopus neurons is very large, namely 500 million neurons. This number is equivalent to one dog. Octopuses also have nine brains, 
of which one is located near the esophagus and the rest are spread across each arm. This is a moray eel. Moray eels, like many other marine species, reproduce through a process called spawning, where the female releases her eggs and the male fertilizes them in the water. However, specific details about the mating behavior of moray eels, such as mating rituals or the roles of each gender, may vary depending on the species. This is a hermit crab. Clownfish, or commonly known as Nemo fish, can generally live in aquariums as long as the aquarium environment meets their needs. They require a sufficiently large tank with clean water, stable temperature, and the provision of hiding places. Additionally, they often live in a symbiotic relationship with certain species of sea anemones, which should also be present in their aquarium. This is a crayfish. Crayfish walk forward, but they can also move backwards only when swimming by using their abdominal movements. Uniquely, they can swim backwards very quickly. And this species will molt at the end of June. They usually eat old shells to regain the calcium and phosphate contained within. This is garfish. Alligators are very calm fish, if you get the chance to see one. They will appear to be floating or submerged in water. However, don't be fooled, this is how they hunt. They won't move until a fish startles them and comes close. The stunned target will suddenly be attacked by an alligator fish which will lunge and grab it with hundreds of sharp teeth. This is box fish. Box fish are not poisonous like puffer fish. Its spotted skin like a leopard, its small mouth, and the hexagon shape of its shell easily make people think this fish is strange. Maybe even similar to ancient fish. Therefore, no one sells this fish here, it is probably considered inedible. Subscribe guys! Well guys, look over there! This is dolphin! Dolphins generally live in social groups called pods. They rarely live alone because they prefer social interaction with other dolphins. Living in a group provides them with protection, assistance in finding food, and opportunities to communicate and socialize. However, in some cases, dolphins can live alone if separated from their group, although this is uncommon and can cause stress to the animal. There is a puffer fish. Puffer fish that have white spots apparently have a unique habit of building nests. Male pufferfish make round nests in the sand. Their goal in building a nest is to attract the attention of females. Usually, if female fish are impressed, they will lay their eggs in the nest. This is a dugong. Dugongs are herbivorous marine mammals and their diet primarily consists of seagrasses, algae, and other marine plants. They are known to graze on these underwater vegetation in shallow coastal areas and seagrass meadows. Additionally, dugongs may occasionally feed on mollusks and crustaceans that inhabit the same habitat. This is a Dacophotiformer. Decapodiforms is a superorder of cephalopoda consisting of all cephalopod species with 10 limbs, specifically 8 short arms and 2 long tentacles. There is a clownfish. Clownfish often reside near sea anemones. They are protected by the anemone's venomous tentacles, which do not affect them because they have a special mucus layer that shields them from the anemone's sting. If threatened, Clownfish can also jump into crevices in the coral reef to hide from predators. Clownfish often live in small groups, providing additional protection as predators tend to have difficulty singling out one target among many fish. This is ammonite. Ammonites are predatory animals, these squid-like creatures live in shell-shaped coils. Like other cephalopods, ammonites are highly alert 
with beak-like jaws within a ring of tentacles that extend from their shells to ensnare prey such as small fish and crustaceans. Some ammonites grow to more than 3 feet or about 1 meter in diameter. There is Spotted Eagle Ray. Spotted Eagle Ray can communicate in various ways, primarily through vocalizations, body movements, and facial expressions. They often use sounds like growls, grunts, or other vocalizations to convey messages to other leopards. Additionally, they utilize body language such as tail movements and body positions to communicate. Thank you for watching guys!